Yeah, I know. They're, your rabbis didn't teach you this because they're embarrassed. That's why I'm going to embarrass your rabbis for yes. not teaching you. Go to Isaiah 6, verse 1. Read it for me. So, in the year that King Uzziah died, I, I saw the Lord, high and exalted, seated on a throne, and the train of his robe filled with temple, filled, filled the temple. Above him were the seraphim, each with six wings. With two wings, they covered their faces. With two, they covered their feet. And with two, they were flying. And they were calling to one another. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. The whole earth is full of his glory. At the sound of their voices, the doorposts and thresholds shook, and the temple was filled with smoke. Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among the people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. So you agree with Isaiah? Your God can be seen on a throne? Yeah, sure, yeah. Are you okay with it? Uh, yeah, but oh. not, not in this world. Okay, you sure you're not in this world? Because I'm going to embarrass you now, because I'm going to show you that God appeared in this world as a man. God appeared in this world as a man. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to show Go it ahead. to you. So you sure you want to say that? So you're okay with the prophet seeing God, right? I didn't really concentrate on the verse, but let me just... Oh, read it one more time. Word. He didn't see it with your eyes. He saw it with his eyes. My eyes have seen. It's so right there in front of you. Read it again. Woe to me, I cried, I am ruined, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among the people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Okay. Yeah, so he saw. Him. Yeah. Okay, All so right. you're okay with them seeing God, right? Yeah, sure, yeah, if it says it. Then oh, I, good, I beautiful. Him. Okay, now go to Daniel 7, verses 9 to 10. As I looked, thrones were set in place, and the ancient Wait, before, not too, too fast, Yelan, not too fast. Yeah. I looked. How many thrones? Was it one? Thrones. Many thrones. Okay, so more than one. Now keep reading. And the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was as white as snow. The hair of his head was white like wool. His throne was flaming with fire, and its wheels were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousands upon thousands attended him. Then, no, ten thousands. 10,000 times, 10,000 stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. Okay, you saw thrones and then he saw the Ancient of Days, right? Thrones, yeah, and, and the Ancient of Days. Okay, what did the Ancient of Days look like? What was his hair like and what was he wearing? It's right there in the verses. White, white. White, right? Yeah. And how many thrones did he sat on? There's no specific number. Yeah, it does say it. Read it again. Yes, it does. Read it again. Uh -huh. He was sitting obviously on one throne, his throne. Yeah, but read it so you can see because you said it didn't say it. Did it? It did say it if you pay attention. Read it again. Yeah, yeah. The ancient of days, of course, he was sitting on his throne, on one throne. His throne was flaming with fire. Okay, so that means there is another throne or more for someone else, right? Yeah. Okay, so my question to you is who is this ancient of days that Daniel saw? The ancient of days can only be uh, Hashem. Hashem, good. Now read for me 13 and 14. Daniel 7, 13 and 14. Same chapter. In my vision at night, I looked, and there before me was one like a son of man, coming with the clouds of heaven. He approached the ancient of days and was led into his presence. He was given authority, glory, and sovereign power. All nations and peoples of every language worshipped him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that will not pass away, and his kingdom is one that will never be destroyed. Yeah. This son of man rides the clouds and he went to the Ancient of Days. Where is the Ancient of Days? Well, it's not really a son of man. It says like a son of man. Okay, so, like a daughter of woman. Beside the point, where did he go? I just want to clarify first this yeah. specific point. I know, you don't clarify because I know what the Aramaic says. It's not written in Hebrew. Like because he's more than a man, but to be like a son of man, that means you appear as a man. You look human. I know the Aramaic better than you do. So where did he go? Uh, can I just ask a further question on this specific point before we go a little bit further? Because what is it's a very it? complex yeah, issue. And I, don't think, I don't think it's something we can go over, I guess, A, B, C, D. About the issue of like a son of man. So, uh, I'm, you know, it's, why didn't just say uh, that it was a son of man? Why because he's like more a than a man. man. That's my point in asking you the question if you don't tap dance. He's not a mere human because no mere human rides the clouds and enters heaven to sit with God in heaven. See, if you answer, you get your question answered. But if you do tap dance, oppa, you're not going to get anywhere. Where did the son of man go? 
Uh, all right, let's, let's go with your. I'm just gonna follow your reason. Okay, where did, he go? Where, did he, where did he go? Yeah, he uh, went to the clouds. Where and uh, he came, went to the presence of this uh, ancient of days. And where's the ancient he of days on the throne? And where is that? Is it in Hawaii or is it in heaven? Well, I hope that heaven looks like Hawaii, but he was in the yeah, heaven. Okay, so you agree now this one who is like a son of man, went to heaven, and he sits with God on a throne in heaven, and he's worshipped by all nations? Does it say that he's sitting on a throne in uh, heaven? Okay, hold on. Let me talk to my friend Timmy. Uh, Timmy, Daniel said he saw thrones, one of them for ancient days. Then later it says, son of man went to ancient days and was given a kingdom. Last time I checked, Timmy, if you have a kingdom, you're a king. And if you're a king, you have a throne. So you got that, Timmy? Okay, so let's come back now. Do you agree that the thrones that daniel saw one was for the ancient of days and the other throne was for one like a son of man don't play games with me because it says he's given a kingdom last time i checked if you have a kingdom you're a king with a throne yeah can i just please tell you something just just to keep it i mean do you want you me can, to hang up in five seconds you keep going yeah. into diversions answer the question do you agree that this one like a son of man is with Hashem in heaven, ruling on a throne, and all nations worship him. I don't agree. And so I you're saying you Daniel is a liar, or you're again a liar and stupid. Which is it? Which one's a liar? Which one's stupid? You are Daniel, because it says it right there. Okay. Nobody's stupid. No, you, you are stupid, you. because you're saying no. you don't agree. So either you're stupid, you don't know the Old Testament, let me teach you. Or you know, and you're a liar, and you're ashamed to admit what your book says. Did you not read the Son of Man? It's going to be served by all nations. Yes or no? All right, but does it say sitting on a throne? When you have a kingdom, where do you sit? On a couch? You can be uh, the valet. You can be the buffoon. You can. It be says he is given a kingdom, and his kingdom is eternal, is never destroyed. So a king, where does he do? He sleeps on the sofa, on a couch, or is he on a throne? Uh, he's sitting on a throne. He's sitting. Uh, okay, so the Son of Man is given a kingdom that's eternal. It will never end. That's what you read. So can you be honest and not be a liar like your rabbis and admit he's on a throne in heaven? I don't. I don't. Let. Me. Yeah. You guys saw, right? They can't deal with their own scriptures. Front of your eyes, thrones, ancient of days. One like a Son of Man comes and receives a kingdom, but doesn't mean he has a throne. Yeah, because last time I checked, kings with kingdoms, they're sitting on sofas and on couches and mattresses. No, it doesn't. <laughs> It doesn't say, it doesn't say he has a throne. Yeah, I know. Because someone receives a kingdom and dominion, he doesn't have a throne. He's just lying on the mattress. He's over there chilling on the sofa. Yeah, I know I got a kingdom, but, you know, it doesn't mean I have to have a throne. Abad.org, this is an ultra-Orthodox Jewish website that translates the Old Testament into English with the commentary of one of their greatest medieval rabbis named Rashi. Read the commentary of Rashi. It's right there. Okay. Who's this one man that comes with the clouds in the Aramaic? It's not a man. Who is it? Read the one, commentary. One like a man was coming. That is King Messiah. Who is he? King Messiah. The King Messiah. Who said that? Rashi, right? Not a Christian, a Jew? Right, right. Daniel 7, 13, 14 is quoted by Jesus himself in the New Testament and his followers to refer to Jesus as the Messiah, who is an eternal king, whose kingdom will never be destroyed, who rule over all peoples, nations, and all languages must worship him. The Jews agree it's about Messiah. 